Hey everybody, welcome to Friday at Paint 2023. Let's go check it out. Yeah, all right, since you saw it in the intro, we'll go ahead and look this over real fast. We do not see any information on it, but uh, film it anyways. Oh, they do have it up there? Okay, great. Yep, I'm not sure if this original color, if it was, would have been nice with this kind of brownish gold and black interior. Looks like it had a little bit of a run in that back here in the back. Sold out of Minnesota. He's got the fit Damn, got a smashed a bit, but the rust isn't too terrible on it. It's like an automatic car. I'm gonna see the fender tag for the Mopar guys. They can decipher it. Yep. And then, oh, here it is. 12.5 or best offer, 70 Barracuda Grand Coupe, 318 roller. All right, it's cool. It'd be a cool car fixed up for sure. Let's make a good hauler. Pretty decent shape. Got a Buick nailhead in this old Ford. That's cool. Yeah, I like them old 40 Fords are nice. Deluxe. It'd be nice to fix back up. Race car amplifier or not. Pretty decent little convertible. Got some body damage, but not a ton of rust. A couple other projects here. Not quite sure what this is. Interesting. And you got. Girl. Skyliner 3750 best offer. Pretty cool. And this Mustang, I think they took the price and everything off. We came by yesterday. Oh, there it is. Okay, it fell down. It's a 70. Not sure if it's very complete. I think it's got the motor in there. And it's probably the cheapest Mustang out here. It was, uh, let's see here, get the price down here. Yeah, 650. No title. Pretty complete though. Well, most of the parts are there. I know it isn't fastback, but for 650, it's still, I don't know, in my opinion, pretty decent. But I'm not Ford or Mustang guy, so maybe maybe it's not. You get the Willys. Make you a deal on this Mustang. I know, I like that Mustang for 650, but I don't have any way to get home. Where do you and, live? Oh, we live down south of Houston. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good ways from here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But that's a hell of a price. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right? I, I, yeah, I. I I bet you do. If you've got that price right there, that's price to move. Yeah, you're ready to get, get on with your life. Yeah. yeah. Well, good luck. I'd be surprised if you take it home with you. You'd think someone would snatch it up for $650. I mean, that's I, peanuts. I hope so. Yeah. Well, good luck. We got the willies here. Someone had an extender on there. Pretty cool, though. Oh, what's he got on this one? Forty-six fifty. This one's had some odds. It's like been beefed up a bit. Some nice projects. Pretty good prices. More and more motorcycles. There was a guy down there. He had three ATC seventies. I didn't even film them, but they were like seven to a thousand for project one. Seven hundred to a thousand. 
So he's got quite a few on the projects here. Some of these looks like the motorcycle Sawyer bought, but some of the motorcycles that will. And then along the lines of what you bought, Sawyer? Yeah, the XL? Yeah. What about the XR? Oh, XR, okay. It's, it's an XL. Legal, Where'd you see it at? It should be below the stator, the stator goes. Yeah, yeah, the amount of Honda, well, really any mini bikes, ATCs, and motorcycles is it's pretty impressive out here, but the uh, Honda is just, they're everywhere out here. There's a XR 80R engine over there. It sort of would think about putting it in 75, but it's like the same motor, so it'd be a slight upgrade. And then oh, okay. XL 75 motor that he's thinking about buying, because he only came with two bikes, only came with one motor. Oh, okay. But is he looking to see if they'll fit or something? Uh, I think they're looking for a VIN. Oh, a VIN? Yeah. Okay. But the, X, the XR80R would be an upgrade. That's just more factory. How much is that motor? $500. $500? He ain't got money for that. No. Yeah, so why is he wasting this guy's time? I don't know. Yeah, 7,500. Runs and drives, 82. You should buy that. Good looking truck. No phone number though. Like this. 59 International. I think it's cool. Runs. <laughs> it's sick. Yeah, it's sick. That's cool. I like it. We should get this for our truck. We can tow anything. That's cool. We got a lot of good stuff over there too. Good did you find you a good one? Well, the, it, what they did was they put house foam in there which people used to do uh before i think before people really i guess knew that it's not good they'd put it in there and then they would that would give you something put fiberglass or something on too but the problem is it just helps the rust grow still not a overly rusty suburban though yeah pretty solid yeah well the usual spots as long as you're down on the bottom part yeah you want the roof especially on these it's in a good shape pretty good potato Sell so two sixty five hundred. It's good looking. It's working though. Looks like it was that medium olive green. It's pretty. Not too bad. I'd buy it if I had some money. If I needed it, but I don't need it. We got a couple of these. You said the decent. Yeah, that's a heck of a deal right here. This is clean, clean, clean. Got a big block. Nineteen grand, eighty four. Three four ton long big crew cab. Yeah, I would think I'd like I'd switch it to the little star. It's pretty. It's a good looking truck. Four-wheel drive here. Pretty original too. Had the Tommy bed on the back, so it probably did a lot of work out in the back roads of North Texas for the last few decades. That's sweet. Awesome. Yeah. I don't have a price on it, but I'm sure it's up there. And they got some nice parts here. They got bucket seats and all types of stuff. Really good stuff. 
center consoles. I think I bought a few things from this guy before. It's been a while. I bought some seat belts, some white seat belts. Yeah, I got some all types of good stuff. If I had the money, I'd be asking about that short bed, but I ain't got no money, so I ain't gonna waste your time. Oh, we got us a couple more Impalas. Quite a few of them out here this year. I don't remember there being this many in the years past, but definitely well represented this year. Some of them better than others, but they're all well, decent, I guess. Got some pile of hardtop there. Six three is probably my favorite of the. 60s impalas i know 64s get a lot of love but i'm not crazy on that flat face but that are still cool i just like the 63 grill a little bit better oh this one had white interior that would have been sweet back in the day impala ss well, this one says impala ss i don't know what the other one did i didn't pay attention both good looking cars though or they will be if they when they get fixed up Good looking little hard top for 6500. It's a little metal work, but not a ton. So you got a lot of parts you can buy with it too. Specialize in the stuff. Tennessee Colony, Texas. 6500 isn't bad. Nah, it's a pretty damn good price these days for a hard top. Yeah. All types of parts. Where's the crates? Now, this is one of the coolest things I've seen. I like this. 13 grand. I live about 10 minutes from the beach. I'd love to have some of this thing down there. That thing is sick. Ultra 70s looking. I like the interior, everything about it. Man, looks like it just came right out of 1977 or something. That thing is really sweet. Everything but the wheels. Everything but the wheels. That is cool. I love it. What, these were the ones at Conroe or not? They had some that looked just like these at Conroe, about the same price. It's nice, red on red. Three quarter ton long bed, a short bed half ton. 13.5 on this one. And they got a nice little 90s blazer over here. He's got a pretty cool. This is a little more 22.5. Nice, all three of them. Vega here for 900. Actually, would have been decent looking for a Vega red with a white interior. She needs tires, you can drive it in anywhere. Take California today and a steering wheel. That's it, that's all you need. We ain't got a lot of money. Was it 75 for the Z50? Yeah. It's probably the most stripped down one I've seen out here this week, but for 75 cheapest, bucks. Yeah. Z50 I would assume it's got the money for for that. I well, mean, the I mean, frame's probably worth it. It's the got the rear suspension. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's not bad, I guess. Like this too. A short bed, 67 small window. 
I guess it comes with a spare bed if you want to go step side on it. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to leave our crates right there. Body on it. Nice little coop. Not much to the interior. He's got a fender in there. Good little coop. Truck over here is pretty solid. We'll check it out. Someone just clipped it. That's a workhorse there. Yeah. Big old flatbed. What is that? A, probably one and a half, maybe two ton. I'd say one and a half. Yeah. Four, one and a half or two. Four grand. Steak, but that thing is yeah that thing it still actually work quite a bit yeah. it says uh baptist standard that's hard to say baptist standard something it's about yeah. worn off probably got the yeah i know that's cool that's factory too yeah it's a tough looking truck yeah and then you got the Catch here. 90 bet. It's the year everyone wants. Everyone wants that 90 box style. What do you think? No? Pretty sweet. They're still cool though. Yeah. You, you know, I like this. This thing is sweet. I don't think it's for sale, it's just his ride, but that is pretty sweet. That's a cool ride. That's really cool. That cool old Jimmy here from Four Illinois. He's probably got a little bit of rust in there. But, yeah, this thing's getting harder to find in any condition. Yeah, I mean, mine had about that much rust when I got it, and it was from California originally, although I think it spent most of its life in Georgia. I like that color. Yeah. It'd be pretty but restored back to the original color like that. You get to see a little bit yeah. more rust right there. Yeah, it's a little rustier than mine was when I got it, but not much. In the usual spots. Yeah, mine was pretty bad when I got it. Mine wasn't anywhere near as clean. Mine was basically just a body on a rolling frame. There's your engine in there. C6500. Let's see. You got the glove box. See if we can get the options on here real fast. Can we hold that over there real good and steady for about 10 seconds? Perfect. That way people can see. Man, I'm a sucker for. These old Jimmys and Suburbans and Blazers, I love it. Be a passion project would be sweet as hell restored. I like it. Suits you. Be a good project for you if you had the money yeah. and the time, but be sweet. Still, we got to spend your money on college. I mean, what's I that got, all about? Yeah, I got a bunch of money. Oh, we'll Podcast. show that later. We'll show we bought later yeah. on today. We're still buying. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right. That pretty sweet little short bed factory V8 57. Remember back in the 90s, at least in Texas, our part of the world these were about five hundred dollars all day long we've got a couple of them that we paid about 500 bucks for then we got a 56 factory v8 we paid uh five or six hundred for it's about the shape is this this one we keep saying oh we need to get our shed and get it running but we still have it the 56 factory v8 it's about the same shape as this one. Well, that, that, this one has but, a little bit more paint on it. Well, ours is missing the driver's side front fender, but this one isn't. Yeah, but uh, yeah, cool. Little skid -skid. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I don't know, is there information on it? Just 57 Chevy, that's it. Yeah, just, I guess, no price, I would assume, just judging how price everything is, I'm sure it's three, four grand. Cool. Yeah, that's common rust area on those. It is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean. It could project for someone, be damn good looking truck fixed up. Yeah, I mean, it looks good now. Yeah. 
I don't know the store any. They got some cool little cheese in here. Early ones too. Oh nine. Of course you got Honda. Everyone's got a Honda out here, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, sorry, getting this one fast. That's cool. These are really neat. Nineteen eleven. Those are nice. Really cool. All right, so here we are. It is Friday evening. Unfortunately, the weather did get a little, little rocky on us. Not a whole lot of rain, but some and some wind. But unfortunately, that did scare a lot of people away. As you can see in the background, it's pretty thin. Yeah. But uh, we were able to get a few purchases today. Some of which are falling over with the wind. All right, so we'll start with Sawyer. What did you end up getting today? Um, well, after yesterday being my big spending day. I don't have too much money to spend, but I did find a couple things to buy. Yeah. Got your little foot peg. Yeah, you got that for the ATC 70 you bought yesterday. The one you had yesterday, some of the components were kind of broken off, so this yeah. one was pretty good shape. The rear rack, some rubber on the left side. Yeah. Um, but I got it for 50, which is pretty good. I'm gonna put it on instead of the old worn out one. And then I also got. Oh, 56 Texas farm truck pair. Yeah, that's not bad. $25. That's pretty clean. Yeah, it's yeah. not too bad. Um, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but pretty happy about it. Yeah, those are those are nice. Those are going to look really good hung up on the wall or whatever you do with them. Yeah. All right, so that was you for Friday. Yeah. And then we'll move on to me. I did it. It's kind of like sore. I didn't get a whole lot today, but I picked up a few things. So I got. Uh, a few more license plates today. I paid two and a half dollars each for these. Um, so just got them, you know, just a bargain hunter. I don't really have any major plans for them. And then picked up a little seven up crate for 10 bucks. I was uh, hoping license plates would fit in there sideways, but they're a little too wide. They do fit this way, but uh, I don't know, just got it. Um, we'll find stuff to store in it. And then got the, I guess, skeleton of a Z50. I believe it is from the guy that sold to me. He thought it was a 75 or 6. And I think um, it does have the VIN. We haven't looked it up. But from what you can tell, it's probably about right, mid 70s. So um not a whole lot there but i paid 60 bucks we figured the values in that just for the frame so um we'll see if we can find some parts over time and see if we can get something built out of it um but that's pretty much all i got and then keegan you uh got a few things yourself uh same thing as sawyer you're buying parts of your atc 70. so you got two of those little wheels we're not sure what they went to but the tires are exactly yeah, the, tires, the same yeah. as your atc 70 so we're going to take them to a tire shop and get them taken off of there and then we're put on your rims to replace these dried out ones that are all cracked up and everything and i got a tank yeah it's a pretty nice tank we got that and you paid 12 bucks for these two yeah 12 rims and tires, for these two so rims and tires not too bad and then we picked up for 55 dollars yeah 55 dollars the uh atc tank i don't know if it's a correct year but um close enough yeah close enough so and i also got this and then we got this uh double cola crate at the same time we got the seven up one and this one was also uh ten dollars yeah and, and then, then you picked up one thing for a little i guess frankenstein creation you're thinking of yeah. doing okay it's right over there so we got this and it is a uh diesel it's a little diesel engine about uh china here six or five horse if anyone knows any information on these definitely let us know yeah uh it's six or five horse and it should make the guy that i bought it from said that it should make i thought you said 15 15 to 17 foot pound torque yeah so. and uh he said it runs so we'll find out it does crank and it has good compression and everything right now it's got it's got a little thing where you can turn the compression off but um but what are you gonna do with this? That's the big thing we gotta let them know about. Well, you come over here. So, <laughs> maybe a little creation. 
He wants right. to put it in this little scooter, so we're gonna have to beef this up. Well, first of all, sandblast it, see what rust we're dealing with, beef it up, yeah. and we'll see if we can get that engine in there. It's gonna take some modifications. And he wants to have a little diesel scooter to drive around yeah. eight and other swap meets going forward. So we'll see if that ever happens, but it is a pretty cool and ambitious project. So I mean, there's a, there's a guy he has a much smaller diesel, but it's the same guy I bought that diesel from. Uh -huh. And he has a mini bike that has a diesel, but it's got a little turbo on it. Okay, and I don't know if we mentioned, but we got that for $40. Yeah. He was asking 100 and um, we were able to talk him down to 40 So, anyhow, so that's where what we got on Friday. We will. So I kind of walked through the swap meet a couple times, seen the same stuff, but uh, figured there'd be some new cars over here at the car corral for Saturday. So we'll check out, see if we can get some of the ones we didn't get the other day here. Yeah, this is really nice. Pretty sure this is what mine looked like when it was new, but uh, it's all in primer now. It's been like that since I bought it back in 99. Or my mom bought it for me for graduation from high school back in 99. She hadn't ever gotten around to fixing it up. Because I think it's parts so expensive with these. I did get the uh, little bumperettes for mine though that this one's got. For front and back. It's a good looker there. essentially just a pile of parts and they're like yeah just come get it out backyard and we got it all and took it home and put it together had a little 283 two-speed power glide in there it was a good little truck oh here's the information i think the cadillac was here ford yeah i ended up getting uh selling it at fears back for some money towards my blazer Big block. A little beetle. Twelve grand. And of course, <laughs> another Honda. Everywhere out here. Everywhere out here. I don't think the Fury was here the other day. 25 grand. That's good. Nice black interior. No, that was Dune Buggy. I got him yesterday over there in the vendors area. A Galaxy. 35 grand. Here, but get a couple of these the second time. I apologize. I'm trying not to show the same ones over again. I know Blazer is here. I don't know if this little Falcon convertible is here. I don't think so. 15.
morning. How's it going? Good, good, thank you. That's good to hear. Your car? It's my car. Oh, okay. Yeah, do YouTube, so I just filming all I said I do YouTube, so I just filming all the cars over here in the car corral. So yeah. Give it a look. Little grand. Pretty clean. Let's see if we get the info here. Grand. Project truck. A cool Sony's Ford. Like that, that is pure 70s right there. The lights on the back of the line. It's more like what was it? The hot new trucks when I was in high school. A couple of rich, I wouldn't say friends, but there's some rich kids in my school. That brand new Chevy truck like this. I thought it wasn't going to ever get no better than this. This is as good as they ever going to make a truck. And they're good trucks. I like them. Mustang, I think that was here though. <laughs> Sounds good. Might be running rich though, it smells real gassy after you went by. This Pretty good. Here, that's the one I was driving through earlier. Let's give it a glance. Yeah, I don't think the same number as the other one. It's very nice. So it's a little bit more my style. Beautiful. I don't think the GTO is here, so we can look at it real fast. Like that. Tan interior. I don't want to show the interior lights sitting in there. That is, that's really well done. Really nice out of Oklahoma. Probably pretty, pretty rust free originally too. It's funny. Uh, been to Oklahoma a few times, but never really been there. Been there, just kind of more been through there. And uh, about 15 years ago, my. Uh, father-in-law bought a uh, 72 Suburban in Arkansas. We had to cut through north or south eastern Oklahoma to get there. We were going and you know, expecting Oklahoma to just kind of be flat and plain because most of the parts of Oklahoma go to are, are just flat plain. And we got in the mountains. I can't remember what the name of the park or the mountains were. We got in these mountains and uh, 
kept asking are we really in oklahoma he goes yeah yeah i just couldn't believe it. it was it was stunning it was gorgeous would have never guessed that part of oklahoma like that but it was, it was beautiful Wait up, Dad. this is cool like my delay Just in case it wasn't, no, I'm, like, I'm not sure if I remember 54, I don't remember. I see so many cars and trucks and projects and bikes and everything. I'm just trying to go to the scene or have the scene. It's pretty though. Kind of like that seafoam green. This was here. Pretty sure that was here. This was here. Maybe three ties to make off of. Belvedere GTX. Good looking car. I don't think this was here. Might have been now. Board. Guys sitting in there. We're trying to stay out of the cold and wind today. It is miserably coldy, cold and windy today. It's a Dodge. Interesting. We'll round it out with the hot rods. We'll go back over here and walk around some more. Today's Saturday. People are going to definitely start leaving here in a little bit. Saturday always about one, two o'clock starts dumping out and emptying. And about I'd say by the end of the day, about thirty percent of the vendors will still be here. But uh, today shouldn't be any wet, wind, uh, any rain, plenty of wind, and right now it's cold and windy. And you can see that wind just blew that guy's bike over, so it's crazy today. But there's a lot of spectators walking around, so it's good. So anyhow, yeah, I don't think this was here the other day. This is really, really clean. 454 big plug, white interior bucket seats. Good looking truck it's not for sale i think it's just the guy's truck guys. oh no he does have some permission in the back short bid it's got like a copy of the original build <laughs> 50 grand that's nice that's a good looking truck this truck the other day but there was a lady that was working around it and i didn't want to get in her way so i didn't get to film as much as i like but uh it's a short bed four wheel drive a work truck which is cool as hell that's neat of course i'm sure whoever ends up gets getting it assuming it's for sale i don't see any information on it i might have just brought it up here but i'm assuming whoever gets it will eventually put a bed on there that's really cool. I'd love to get a short bed for wheel drive. A lot of people would, but I just don't see them very often. Yeah, that's neat. It's really neat. I saw this guy driving around yesterday, but didn't get a chance to Nice truck. Film, yeah. 18. It's good looking. 62. Well, I think it's got 67, 72 buckets. That's a nice looking suburban. Really nice. It's really good. All right, so we're unfortunately already here to Saturday evening at Pate, but you know, that's the way it goes. So, so we didn't end up picking up a whole lot today. Sawyer, you got nothing today. Zero. Keegan got a- I got, a, I got the front wheel, like the front- Wheel assembly. Yeah, front wheel assembly for a uh, 
ATC 70, but there was no tire on it. But it was like the center part and the rim. But unfortunately, we already packed that. We started packing everything. Yeah. So we can't show it. It's a you, wheel. If you want to get up, we can go look at the other thing I bought. Okay. A, uh, okay. We'll do that now. Very, very important piece. Oh, and you bought an air filter. It's a little air filter. Okay. And I yeah. Bought it you got an dollar. air filter. Okay. So that's pretty much what we bought today and then oh the wheel the front wheel assembly was twenty dollars yeah I and mean, it was 20 bucks and then i didn't pick up much i did pick up a few more plates today um the military ones here and these were five dollars each and it's funny the guy i bought them from the same guy I bought the plates from the other day he's like yeah some guy came the other day he bought a big stack of them he was talking about me but he didn't re recognize me as the guy who was buying them and then i bought um, I bought it for 6772, but I think it's square body also. But anyhow, it's a tail light assembly. Got got that for $15. That's really all we got today. Um, yeah. But we did do a little bit of walking around. And as you can see, as it's all thinned out, people really just start leaving Saturday afternoon. Uh, there's almost no one over here anymore. Um, so it's like it normally is like maybe a third of the people are left on Saturday. No matter what the way it was like, people will start leaving Saturday afternoon and uh but you did get to we didn't film it because we're not trying to yeah. ride their coattails or anything yeah. but y'all did get to ride around with the guys from cars and cameras and we yeah, ch fun. chatted with them a little bit yeah. so that was cool and those are nice guys if anyone watching our channel watches them they're they're, they're pretty, pretty cool. genuine in uh yeah. real life we talked to them last year a little bit and then we got to talk to some of them yesterday and then you talked to them again yeah. today and they uh assigned your gas cap over here for your Bike. Yeah, it, add, it adds some power to it. There you go. So that was kind of neat that they did that for you. Yeah. And uh, and all that. But this is pretty much a wrap on this year. There is one thing I want to show you. All right. So real fast, what, I forgot to get it out, so we had to edit it a little bit. But the one thing I thought was kind of neat, I wanted to bring up for anyone that watches this that is in license plates. So some of the plates I bought, I'm not sure how much I focused on this, but. I just bought it and I thought it was really unusual. We did some research last night and according to, um, oh, I can't remember, it was the Alabama uh, news agency. They were talking about the rarest Alabama license plates, uh, I guess special issue plates over the years. And this was on the list as like seventh rarest. Yeah, it was, it, there's only 67 They of made 67, I don't know if they mean 67 pairs or if they were singles but only 67 of these were ever issued. And uh, you had to get um, like verification from the Pentagon and all that, that you were, uh, I guess, hit with nuclear radiation from atomic bomb you, testing you from you like 1946 to 1962. So um, quite interesting on this. There are some on eBay, they're like 100 plus, 100, 130. But this is definitely going to stay in my collection. I just thought it was neat. So I just wanted to mention that real fast. Yeah. Anyhow, but that's pretty much going to do us for Pate 2023. Good, bad, and ugly. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we'll see you at the next one. See you there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. See ya.